I love all creatures, great and small. You know, when I see a dragonfly stuck in the netting here, I will take it, I will put it outside. I'm just like a live and let live kind of person, except when it comes to mites and lice, and I'm gonna show you how to end their stupid lives. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. So I just wanna tell you really quick, the babies, you know, the surprise babies that Chickenlandia had, they're about 12 weeks old now and they are bubblicious babies. I can totally tell they're super sweet. Two of them are really easy to pick up. Anyway, I love them and I'm gonna be naming them soon. I'm pretty sure one of the rooster's names is gonna be Zorro and uh, the little girl, I think I'm gonna call her Binky. <laughs> so I did have a lice infestation very recently, <sighs> but I handled it this time with uh, something that only took one treatment. One of my chickens is being so loud right now. Her name is Goo. <laughs> She's really just, she just has to talk. She talks all day long. Maybe she gets that from her mother. <laughs> So I know I said that a parasite's life is stupid and I'm gonna show you how to end their stupid lives. I said something like that. <laughs> but that's actually not true. And I really like to remind people that parasites play a really important part in our life here on earth, in all life on earth. Even in a flock of chickens where you would think, you know, there's no reason for parasites to be here. Actually, it's a really good indicator of where your flock is health-wise. So, you know, recently I had a situation in Chickenlandia where I had a pretty tough case of coccidiosis in my flock and it was really stressful. I lost a few chickens. Um, obviously other chickens were stressed out. Some chickens weren't feeling good. And it was just like this perfect storm where, uh, you know, external parasites could come in and take advantage of that vulnerability. And so it's no surprise that lice reared their ugly heads because, you know, when you have sick chickens, it's definitely a time when you need to be checking them weekly at least to make sure that there's no external parasites on your chickens. And also during the fall, I've talked about that a lot. The chickens are molting, the weather is changing, they become a little bit more vulnerable. And so, so it's just, it's prime time right now um, to be checking your chickens for mites and lice. <laughs> so anyway, when I realized there were lice on a few of my chickens, I knew that it was time for me to bring balance back into my flock. So the product I use this time around is called Elector PSP. It is something I haven't used before, but I've always heard really good things about it. Now I'm not sponsored by Elector PSP, but you know, if Mr. and Mrs. Elector are watching this, here I am. <laughs> This product is made from bacteria in the soil. It is relatively safe, um, especially when you compare it to a lot of the chemicals that are used to treat uh, external parasites in poultry. You know, whatever we put on our chickens, whatever we put in our chickens, it doesn't stay on or in the chickens. It goes into our ecosystem. Even when you're using natural products, you need to make sure and limit to, limit them to only when you need to use them because you know something like Elector PSP it's pretty benign but it can kill bees when it's wet so I just used it on my chickens and in my coop and I think that's the way to use it responsibly. I'm sorry this chicken just keeps <laughs> squawking. Goo, be quiet. Now the one thing that is unfortunate about this product is that it is very expensive. And I know a lot of people can't afford that. And if you're one of those people, don't worry, there are other natural products that you can use. And I talk about them in another video that I will link in the description because it's really important for me to make sure that chicken keeping just includes everybody and everybody has access to the things that they need. Even though Electro PSP is so expensive, it lasts a long time. Like the one little bottle I have is probably gonna last me 10 years because it is like for this bottle, I put 28 ounces of water in it and two milliliters of the Electro PSP and just like shook it up. It's gonna last a really long time. So, it, you know, it's a great investment if you can swing it. 
I went and got goo. <laughs> She was just being too loud. She probably needs to lay an egg and there's uh, there's broodies in the in the nesting boxes and she wants to get in there and lay and so she's cranky. <laughs> I know. Before I go on about how to treat your birds, I want I want to let you know like you should wear a mask when you do this. I just forgot. I forgot to put on a mask. I forgot to put on a mask when I was treating my birds. I forgot to put a mask when I was in the coop, spraying down the coop. Please put on a mask. And if you don't wear glasses, you know, wear some protective eye gear. Um, well, or just wear protective eye gear over your glasses. <laughs> just do as I say, not as I do, okay? <laughs> So I treated the birds that I could during the day, <laughs> which was kind of a disaster because some of them were just acting completely crazy. Um, I will say it's so much easier to treat your chickens at night when they're on the roost. You can just go into the coop, put a headlamp on, and treat each chicken while they're roosting. And they really, like, they'll notice, but it's just so much easier. What you need to do is treat behind the, you know, behind the neck and make sure you lift up the feathers, get it, get it in there. Definitely the vent area. Like you really wanna treat the vent area well because that's where most of the eggs are gonna be hanging out. And then um, under the wings, those are the three very important areas that you want to concentrate on when you're treating your chickens. But uh, you know, you wanna get it all over their bodies if you can and you wanna rub it in if you can, but concentrate on those areas. After I treated my chickens, Julie came over and we did a really deep cleaning of the coop. And I literally, we had just done a really deep cleaning, but it's, you know, I found lice. So it, once you find parasites, you've got to clean the coop. And I actually changed the roosts. There was nothing wrong really with my older roosts, but there were all these like grooves and chips in the wood. And in those grooves, that's where parasites can hang out. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna change these roosts out. So, you know, the first man was home, so he put new roosts in for me. Then I sprayed down the roosts. I sprayed the whole coop down. Um, I even sprayed the, the curtain, the Chickenlandia curtain. <laughs> okay, calm down. And then we put the shavings back in and this product is so safe, like the chickens could come back in right away. It dried really quick. But like I said before, I kept everything limited to the chickens themselves and inside the coop because I don't want this product to be negatively affecting the bees. I just, you know, that would make me really sad, okay? And it wouldn't be good. For Electro PSP, you only need one application. And that is a real plus to this product because it's, you know, it's kind of a pain to have to do everything. You know, if you're using permethrin, you really want to treat again, 10 days later, clean out the coop 10 days later and retreat the coop and your birds. If you're doing diatomaceous earth, which is another option that's very affordable, I would do, you know, everything three times, 10 days apart. And that's a lot of work, but you know, sometimes it's necessary to do that to make sure that you get rid of the problem. So do what needs to be done and do as many treatments as you need to do to handle the problem. So now that all of that is done, I'm really gonna be more responsible and more diligent about the preventative measures that I take to prevent mites and lice. So one of the things that I use are herbs and these are my favorite herbs. They are the nest box herbs, and these are from my favorite chicken. And these smell so good. <laughs> they smell so good. I put them in the dust baths. I put them in the nesting boxes. It's just, and it's pretty too. It's got lemon verbena, calendula, chamomile, echinacea, lavender, rosebuds. It just, I'm telling you, it smells so good. It's like a spiritual experience. <laughs> When it's like you're at the spa, but you're in a chicken coop. But I will sprinkle these throughout the coop and that will help not to kill bugs. It does not kill mites or lice. What this will do is help to deter them. And it's like, it smells so good. It just makes, it just improves your chicken keeping experience. The other thing I have are some really cute essential oil diffusers. And I will put some gentle essential oils that also help to repel insects. Something like peppermint, lavender, lemon, uh, thyme is another good one. I'll put a few drops of those on the diffusers and that really helps. 
the most important thing. This is the most important thing that you will ever do for parasite prevention. Make sure your chickens have a place to dust bathe. The chickens don't take baths in water. They take a bath in dust. And what that does is it helps to dry up any parasites that they might have on their bodies. And it just cleans them off. So, you know, during the spring and summer when it's warm outside, they can find places to dust bathe, usually in their natural environment. But in the fall and winter, it might be rainy, it might be snowy. They are not as easily able to find places in which to dust bathe, but guess what? I have a whole video about how you can make your own dust bath for chickens. It's a recipe and it's super easy. Anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And all you have to do is click right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment, and I know you're gonna love it. Now, Goo, you gotta be quiet. I can't, I can't, I can't with that sound anymore.